Hi, Tennessee Traveling Trikes, Michelle here. I just am letting you know that today's video is a little bit different. We're not biking because we're waiting on a bike part. We've actually moved ahead from there, but I'm just getting it edited today. So I wanted to add this on so you would understand. I'm going to show you a little bit more about Duncan. And then I'm going to show you some of Silver City and the Gila Cliff, Cliff Dwellings. Gila Cliff Dwellings. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video. It's still some of the area where the bicyclists are going through in the southern tier. It's really amazing country. So I just want to share it with you. You have a great day. We are staying at a warm showers house in Duncan, Arizona. This is the cute little courtyard just outside. It's actually bed and breakfast. It's lovely. But they didn't charge us for staying here because it's warm showers. And since we're three cyclists, but they are totally redoing their yard. This little thing is to keep their one goat out who's gotten too old to climb the fence. And then this is going to be a giant koi pond. You can hear all their chickens. There's the goat. We'll go meet Pepper. All right, so then they've built this little area. If we wanted coffee or something to sit in. Isn't that nice? I love it. And there's Pepper. He's old guy. Hi, Pepper. Hi there, buddy. Yes, hi there, buddy. Yeah. There's another little area here. That's the neighbor's chickens. We're up early, so it doesn't matter. And then this was going to be a raised garden, but it's become a whole other thing that the man has built. He obviously is an artist of some sort. And he has, is making it kind of like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a ru uh, ruined old Spanish church or monastery of some sort. But he does have raised beds in it look at it. Isn't it amazing? I'm just so thrilled with where we've ended up and the people we've met. They're wonderful. He's got his little altar here. I guess those are for candles. There's the art gallery. Yeah, definitely an artist. I just am fascinated. And then two of his brothers live in this cute little 70s um, trailer back here. Maybe it's the 60s. I bet you that's from the 60s. Because the little modded roof. So then you come back here. And this little green camper in the back. With our bike beside it. Is our little home for the night. And I, it's, I'm sure it's painted, but it's just, it's just been wonderful. And this looks like it used to be a loading dock, but now it's their porch and deck for the back. I'm going to show you inside. It's two beds. Look, we've made a total mess of the place. This is Mark's bed. And Mark gave me the big bed. The whole thing shakes. But it's fabulous. So this is Duncan, Arizona. We're walking down Madison Street. And we're going to go to Wanda's up here. Which is a little restaurant just up the road here. About the <laughs> I'd like to say two blocks, but I don't know if they have blocks. <laughs> Click your heels, Dorothy. <laughs> There's no place Those like home. home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see the the D in the top of the bluff there for Duncan. It's a pretty big high school. It must be a larger town than it feels like from here. It must go on a little more because there's a pretty large school over there. Oh, wow. 
you don't see pay phones anymore. But you do in Duncan. Huh. They even got the white pages and yellow pages there. Yeah. You call Ghostbusters. <laughs> I love towns like this though. I love going through places like this. It's been a great adventure. Yeah. This is our hotel. The Simpsons Hotel. But we're staying in the back. It's like they're getting ready to bloom. Yeah, this is the front garden. Yeah, they are getting ready to bloom. I showed you the back garden earlier. But we just went out to breakfast. I guess we could have asked to eat here, but... Lovely. Look at the little turtle pond. We've done a lot over around here. So, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We have these at our house. They're very prickly. <laughs> well, we got our ride. We're in New Mexico. We're in Silver City at the KOA. The little geese are clocking away. Well, they were a second ago. Now, all of a sudden, they got quiet. It's sunset. There's the mom. The, sa the saving grace. The mom and the dad. <laughs> Here we are. Got the ride. Our part. We wanted it overnight tomorrow. <laughs> we overnighted tomorrow. It's $650. We need two little brass bushings that are meant to fail before the metal fails. So it's less expensive. We went ahead and got four of them. So that if the other side fails, we can just fix it and we don't have to stop again. But we're going to have to wait until Monday to get the part. Today is Friday. So we'll have to wait till Monday to get the part so we won't be able to go riding again until Tuesday. Hopefully I'll get all my videos out. I'll get them all updated and we'll be ready to go again from Silver City because we didn't get to make that climb. But honestly, it was a really exciting terrain until we got up here. So... The ride from uh, Duncan to Lordsburg was kind of eh, would have been a boring day. The ride up would have been good, and it may have taken two days because it's a lot of climbing. Well, we're here now. I'm going to work on getting those videos out and enjoy a few days, if we're going to. We're going to travel a little, we're going to see the Gila things, we're going to say all of that, and off we go. It's beautiful. We're in the Gila National Forest, or up here near it. Just thought I'd show you some of what I'm seeing. Dad's truck's over there. I've come through a hole in the woods. Let me climb up on a rock so you can see better. There we go. It's lovely. Another beautiful day. Enjoy yours. We're enjoying ours. Enjoy yours. We're enjoying ours. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this out here there's a road i don't know if you can see that random man out there there's a road right here in front of me it's the alternative bike route that we could take if we wanted but we're not going to it's 90 miles as opposed to 30. look how high we are we are at i just checked the altimeter and it said i'm at standing at 6959 feet we have been higher There's my mom trying to get some pictures. Dad and Mark are staying down there. There. <laughs> That's part of the, this is all part of the alternate bike route. She thought somebody was on our road. They're not. But yeah, here we go. This is where we could be riding on Tuesday. When we get our part, we'll get our part Monday. Hopefully they'll get the bike fixed. We are looking at the beautiful world. I'm sure you can see it behind me. It's amazing. And it's a lot of fun. So, hey, having two days off? Two days? Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're getting three days. 
well, we got to ride the bike to the bike shop. But other than that, we've got three days off, which is a real fun thing. And we didn't have to climb up. We will have to climb out of where we are, but we're not taking this climb because I'm telling you, this is way more than I want to do. Have a good day. There's you know. that little T window that, or doorway. That was a doorway up yes. there. So they'd put ladders. Yes. I guess. To make it harder to get into them. So they can pull them up. And then again, there's a black on the ceiling from all the smoke, all the fires, all the years. And look at the drains. Oh, they are. I'm not tall enough to so look through. <laughs> I wanted to do this. This is the biggest room here. Let's see how it opens. They left the openings for the smoke from the fires to go out. And this, I thought they said it had the roof up here, and when they would have the fire in here it would save the heat more yeah it would hold the heat better and because of the way the it couldn't ceiling escape dome. Out the opening is easy but they pointed out a couple of places where they had worked the stone to make various things with it well these were ritual places they did rituals that i think that they said on the movie we watched what did, they do? did different rituals down oh. in those that's why they were the nicest and the walls are the the best quality. Wow, can you imagine just living up in there, which is what they did? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Especially when another piece of this rock, which used to be up there, fell. Yeah, that is a piece of rock from the ceiling. That's true. Yeah. Not exactly where you went, you could stay real nice and warm. Yeah, they probably had a lot of people in here in the winter. Wow. It's very cool. Come discover America. It's amazing. Claim culture affiliation with the Mongolian interpret to symbolize rain or clouds. Oh wow! So it looked. I can see some of it. I, I guess they take that with that special photography. Here. I don't know if somebody scratched that in there. That yeah. may have been scratched later. I think they do guess it a lot. Yeah. Did when yeah. It's a different. I agree. Look, there's a first aid kit. <laughs> Every Native American culture had a nice plastic first aid kit. <laughs>